Okay, welcome to Bemusing Bill. This episode, very first time doing uh, Dream Theater. Now, this is not my first time listening to Dream Theater. I'm familiar with the song Pull Me Under from uh, a couple hundred years ago. Uh, and I, I've, of course, I know the band. Listen, I'm a metal dude and um, going way, way back. So here's a story with, uh, with Dream Theater. Now, way back in the early 90s, my girlfriend had a band, all-female band. They opened up for another all-female band called Mean Streak. And it just so happened that three of the girls in Mean Streak were dating three of the guys in Dream Theater. So I think we were in like some some club down in uh, Jersey, maybe. And John Petrucci and Mike Portnoy were there. And so I got to meet him, you know. But uh, at the time, you know, I didn't even know them. I don't even know if they were actually like, boom, out there yet. Or maybe they had just put out something at that point. I'm not even sure. Because they weren't married to anybody yet. Three of them married three of those girls. And they were really cool. I remember John picked up his girlfriend's guitar and was doing this crazy solo on one string. It blew me away. So, uh, I mean, I know these guys are awesome. They are really awesome. Um, but I, I, have, I haven't really had a chance to dive into their stuff. You know, listen, 90s were a blur for me, man. <laughs> but we're going to do that now. So the link will be below in the description box as well. If you'd like to support the channel, all those links are below. Hit me up in the comments, like and subscribe. And let's let's jump back to, because they come right out with a million notes. And here we do it. At wit's end, folks, this is live in London. Uh, it's pretty recent. I don't remember the year. I'll check that later, but let's do this. Look at that drum kit.
Okay, just a few things here. Just a few things, folks. Number one, I know that's not Mike Portnoy, and I know that he had left for a while. I know that he is back now. That's really, really cool. Of course, this guy, I don't know his name. He is going to be a phenomenal drummer if he's going to be with Dream Theater. Love the color of his set. I love the arrangement of his set. He's got these octobonds, these transparent octobonds, acrylic, up high, as well as many other drums up there and loads of cymbals. Looks like he's even got floor toms to his left. Wow, I mean, what a setup. Um, looks like the bass player, and I don't remember his name, but it looks like he is playing a six-string bass. He is phenomenal. And I don't know the keyboardist's name either. I like that the, the keyboard is moving, and that makes me think of uh, Cohen from uh, Epica. He's got that moving keyboard as well. Uh, John, freaking phenomenal. Is this guy one of the most unbelievable guitar players of our generation? I mean, he just unbelievable. James Labrie, folks. James Labrie, the voice. And, you know, it's funny how I got into the Dream Theater thing is following Arion. If you guys follow that, I've been doing the source from beginning and going through it you know, from the first song all the way through it. And James plays the part of the historian. And I was like, you know what? I'm checking out Blind Guardian. I'm checking out, I'm going back into checking out Halloween. Why not do Dream Theater? I mean, these are my local boys right here from my hometown. So uh, yeah, I got to do them too. Got to do them proper. So uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know, you know, what I'm missing here and... Uh, a lot of people were telling me I should I should check out Metropolis Part 2 and do that in order, you know, from the beginning song. But I wanted to jump into something not that, you know, first things first. So I believe uh, Metropolis Part 2 will be the next on Dream Theater's journey. I'm, I'm happy you guys are hanging out with me and love to hear you guys in the comments. This song is so awesome. <laughs> Also, I notice he's wearing a Sons of Anarchy t-shirt, which is so weird because I I thought about wearing that to do this reaction and I just sort of like, no, I'm going to check out my new shirt here. But man, that would have been weird, huh? <laughs> Good taste in shows, my friend. Good taste. And I'm guessing that the skull on what looks like a Stormtrooper hand there, I notice it's on the on the bass drum head too. That's the album cover. Is that is this a, a a theme album as well? Hit me up. I don't know. It says this is from Distant Memories. So I'm assuming that is the the uh, album title. Um, it's really cool. Really, really cool. And if this is on a theme album, then I have to jump back and forth with some of these songs as well, right? Yeah. That's an awesome sound, wow. That that is the first time I think I've heard a a keyboard solo sound like it could have been a guitar solo. It's structured in the same way, and that was really cool that he's able to tilt it like that so you can watch him. Really, really, really cool. John's compliment, uh, and man, he is 
so smooth. I mean, silky, silky smooth. <laughs> What a voice. that man has my goodness let's see if they got some lyrics here folks oh no lyrics on this anybody post anything yeah, you never know sometimes someone's like hey you want the lyrics here you go
Nope, I don't see any lyrics on there. Let's see if I can do this and see how badly I can screw up my phone. All right. Dream Theater at Wit's End lyrics. Sweet! Let me help you. How much longer till you realize you're getting worse and it's killing you inside? I can't break through. Do you have to face this on your own? Want to be left alone? Don't leave me now. Don't leave me now. I know that it's tearing you apart. Don't leave me now. Don't leave me now. Come alive. Hmm. So what's he talking about here? You're getting worse and it's killing you inside. Let me help you. I can't break through. Do you have to face this on your own? Is he referring to an addiction that his um, that he's talking about with a spouse or somebody that he loves? Want to be left alone? Uh, you feel you feel I'm asking too much of you, but can't let go. Fear breeds the hate, and your apathy, empathy, and hollow. Fear breeds the hate and your apathy. Yeah, fear is the root of all evil, right? You lost your face. There's no getting through. Why shut me out? Frantic, disturbed, filled with misery. Can't figure it out. Hmm. Sleepless, worse for wear. Staring at the ceiling, I'm sedated, intoxicated. Deafening, deafening, shout it out, shout it out, burning, burning, no way out, no way out. Don't leave me now, don't leave me now. So is he talking about someone leaving him, like leaving him physically or leaving him like leaving the world, you know, leaving this plane of existence? I know that it's tearing you apart, don't leave me now, come alive. Ask me to listen. Can't go on to face another day. I lied, not admitting. What I lost is still in you. But this is like deep, man. Something's missing. You see darkness in my eyes. Maculate. There is no cure. Playing over to stop pretending. Walked inside. It's never ending turn. Don't leave me now. Don't leave me now. Oh, man. I mean, there's, there's aspects of this I definitely can relate to. Maybe you guys can too. Um, I, I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments, you know? And um, I mean, if this is, this could be part of like a, you know, a bigger theme in the album and I'm just like, just getting this one little piece, I don't know. But I need to ponder this and I'd love to help. So hit me up and until the next time, guys, love you all. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace.